Hello everyone. Today I'm going to record a video for you and in this video I'm going to talk about um the suffix and the word de and da. So we have this word uh in a suffix form and in a word form. Uh when it is in a word form it has a different meaning from the way it is a suffix but the way it performs and changes from word to word has a similarity so um, before going to the lesson and uh, examples make sure that you subscribe and turn the bell on because uh, you will never know that when I'm going to upload a video unless you get a notification so uh here we have the suffix da or de and we have the word da or de when it is a suffix it is written just beside the word it jo is uh it joins the word but when it is a word it is uh, written as it different uh, independent word let's go to the examples okay um, first let's uh, let me tell you the meaning when it is a suffix it means uh, in or inside but when it is a word it means to also as well so Let's go to the examples to see how it works. Okay, I'm going to show you uh, the suffix form with the uh, red color and the word form with the black color. Okay. Evde. Evde. It means in the house or at home. It means inside the house içeride içeride it means inside inside something especially inside a building or a closed area İsviçre'de İsviçre'de in Switzerland okay uh, as you see, when we have a country now, uh, um, name of a country or a special name, we have this comma here. Ayşe'de. Ayşe'de. It means in Ayşe's hand or beside Ayşe or it is with Ayşe. Geçmişte. Geçmişte. Okay, um, as you see, it changed to a uh, T sound. In the previous videos, I also had mentioned that when the suffix, um, which starts with D sound, uh, comes close to um, F, S, Sh, T, K, P, sounds uh they and also her sound those words which are, which are fricatives and um, those hissing sounds and aspiration uh, and they change the the sound to t sound so here we have some examples of that one is geçmişte geçmişte it means in the past geçmiş means past geçmişte in the past gelecekte gelecekte it means in future gelecek means future gelecekte means in future belekte belekte belek is a name of a uh, city uh, in antalya province it is famous though. In Belek. In 
Belek. Okay. Ahmette. Ahmette. Ahmet is a name. It's a guy's name. In Ahmet's hand or beside Ahmet's or anyway. Okay. Okulda. Okulda. It means in school. Yeah, like in the school. Inside school. Odamda. Odamda. Means in my room. In my room. İstanbul'da. İstanbul'da. It means in Istanbul. Okay, you see we have the comma because it's a name, special name. Çınar'da. Çınar'da. Okay, Çınar is a guy's name. It means in Çınar's hand or something that is with Çınar. Sıcakta. Sıcakta. It means in hot weather. Sıcak means hot. Sıcakta means in hot weather. Durakta. Durakta. It means in the bus stop. And also, uh, sometimes when you're uh, in the bus and you want the um, bus driver to stop in the bus stop, if there is no uh, buttons to press, if there's no bell, um, you can just just call out the driver, like saying durakta means that I'm going to get off the bus in the bus stop, in the next bus stop. Durakta. Kutupta. Kutupta. It means in North Pole or South Pole, anyway. Halukta. Halukta. Haluk is a uh, name of a guy. So, Halukta means in Haluk's hand. Okay. As you see, we have de with the words which end up with the uh, thin sounds. Here we have e, e, um, as you see. And here we have da because uh, in the last syllable of the uh, word, we have the thick sounds like u, a, as you see here. So, you know the harmony of vowels already. If you don't know, please go to my previous videos. Like the um, first three videos, um, I have mentioned the rule. And in some other videos also, I have explained it. Okay, let's go to the next part. Okay, I'm going to give some examples of de and da as a word which means too or also bande means me too bande sande means you too sande sizde means you too as plural sizde you too Bizde, us too, or we too. Benimde, mine too. Benimde, mine too. Ali de, Ali too. Ayşe de, Ayşe too. Rize de, Rize is the name of a city in the north side of Turkey. Rize too. İngiltere de, England too. Okay, as you see, the last syllable of all these um, words end up 
I mean, contain a thin sound. So we have the word de having um, the thin sound of a here, as you see. But you see, it is written as an independent word, like with a space. So let's go to the next example with da. Here we have onlar da, them too. Burası da, here too. Bana da, to me too. Sonra da, later too. Yarın da, tomorrow too. Çınar da, çınar too. Ayça da, Ayça is the name of a girl. Ayça too. İstanbul da, İstanbul too. Amerika, America too. Okay, now here we are going to some mixed examples. Evde de, in home too, or at home too. I have written in because I just want you to understand the meaning of inside when um, the suffix de comes. İçeride de, in the inside too. İsviçrede de, İsviçrede de. In Switzerland, too. Ayşe de de. In Ayşe, too. Like, um, how can we say in Ayşe, too? Um, it's like about Ayşe, too. Actually, we can say. Like in her heart, too. Let's say. Geçmişte de, in the past, too. Here you see, we have the change of uh, de to t here, but this independent word hasn't changed. Geçmişte de, in the past, too. Gelecekte de, in the future, too. Belekte de, in belek, too. Ahmet'te de, in Ahmet's hand too, or in Ahmet's heart too, or in, in anything about Ahmet too. Okay. Okulda da, it means in school too, like inside school too. Odamda da, it means in my room too. İstanbul'da da, in Istanbul, too. Çınar'da da, Çınar'da da, in Çınar's hand, too. Or in anything about Çınar, too. Sıcakta da, in hot weather, too. Durakta da, in bus stop, too. Kutupta da, in poles too, North Pole, South Pole, anyway. Halukta da, in Haluk's hand too, or in anything about Haluk too. Okay, here I'm going to show you some um, sentences. As an example, we have this one. Kafamda soru işareti var. Kafamda soru işareti var. There is a question in my head. There is a question in my head. Bu bölgede yağmur çok yağar. Bu bölgede yağmur çok yağar. It rains a lot in this area. It rains a lot. In this area. Normalde de hiç takmam. Normalde de hiç takmam. It means 
I don't care in a normal situation to or either actually it means either anyway I've written to just you know to make sure that I have the um meaning here to make you understood about it that's you know it means either Sandemi gittin Sandemi gittin it means you went too like did you go too Yanımda peçete yok Yanımda peçete yok it means I don't have a tissue in my vicinity or around me or with me. Yanımda means in my vicinity or around me. Okay. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, I don't want to make it any longer. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. and write any questions that you have to me i'm gonna answer them as soon as possible good luck